Here's how to add a glitch effect just like this to your video in just a few simple steps. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account here. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button and then you'll be taken straight into the editor. Now I'm going to be showing you two ways to add a glitch effect. The first being by adding a glitch effect to the entire video and the second by adding a glitch transition between two clips. So to get started, the first thing you'll need to do is import the video clips that you want to add the glitch effect to by heading over to the import media button, selecting the assets and hitting open. They'll then load into your media library like this and you'll simply drag and drop them straight into the timeline. Now the videos are in the timeline, to add a glitch effect to the entire video, click on the video in your timeline and it will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click on the effects tab. Scroll through the list of effects until you find the glitch effect, then simply click on it to apply it to your video. Your video will then be overlaid with the effect and it will look something like this. You can then edit the intensity and the speed of the glitch with the speed sliders. Simply drag the sliders left to slow down the speed or intensity, like this, or right to speed up the speed or intensity. The glitch effect can be added to all videos, stock images, stickers, and GIFs. Next, to add a glitch transition in between two clips, head over to the Transitions tab in the toolbar, and here there will be three glitch transition options to choose from. They are the Digital Glitch, the glitch reveal and the morph glitch. Simply scroll through the options until you find the one that you want to use and then drag and drop the transition into the timeline between the two clips, just like this. It will automatically snap that transition into place. You can then edit the duration of the transition if you want to by clicking on the transition in between the clips in the timeline, then heading to the transitions tab in the property panel and in your selected transitions, you'll see the duration option appear just simply move the slider left or right to shorten the transition. You can see in the timeline the length is being adjusted as I move the slider. Once you're completely happy with your video, you can go ahead and export it by heading over to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how to add a glitch effect to your video in two different ways. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.